Welcome back to Advanced Multi-Agent Routing Orchestration Part 3 with Mission Control and Router Nodes and Multi-Agent Nodes. Last two videos we've been going over this uh, so many times so I'm going to be very quick about it. Here we're going to have a smart mission controller. Uh, this guy will not answer back to the user but it's going to take the user message like this. Can you please email my contact etc and then analyze and based on its analysis is going to create an intent a string like crm stock email research or unknown and then it's going to fill in this confidence data item with a number between 0 and 1 which shows its confidence level for example here uh, the point 9 means 90% certainty that about this decision right so now this JSON object will be sent to this router node and this guy will go through a routing map and pick out the right kind of agent and create another object, pass it to this conditional edge and conditional edge is the traffic cop that will connect our mission control and router node to the rest of the graph where all our other agents are and then based on this router's decision it's going to go ahead and send the state of the graph to the appropriate agent and then these test agents are going to reply to us identifying themselves so that we will know that we are sending our data accurately in the last two videos we spent too much time on this mission controller getting it right because this is the main starting point and the most important part but this time we're going to finish the series by going over this router node conditional edge and our test agents. With that, let's get started. All right, so this is our usual uh, installs right here, and let's check out the versions. Langchain has 0.3.19, and this version of Langgraph is 0.3.2. All right, so th this is the basic structure of loading our API keys. All the uh, model API keys are loaded here, and this block right here uh, connecting us to our Langsmith portal. That said, let's look at the overall structure. All right, so advanced agentic routing. So this is the overall structure of our project here. Uh, this research react agent is just a sample one just to show you what a real agent should look like. But this guy's right here, simple research agent, simple stock agent, CRM agent, email agent, and unknown agent. These are test agents we're gonna get to it a little bit later and then the mission control we spent the entire last video on this one we're gonna go over this very very quickly but our main target would be this router node right here which also has the conditional edge that finally connects us to the rest of the graph and here at the end we use this to test out our full graph that said let's start right here quickly this is what our mission controller are looking like. Uh, we are building the graph. This is the actual prompt, the few shot prompting with examples so that uh, our results are accurate. This is where we're asking mission controller to generate the structure of the JSON. And uh, here we're using the GPT 4.5 preview, the latest and the greatest. And this is our dis decision object. We're using Pydantic base model here. And also, we're using with structured output from Langchain to create our structured LLM so that it can generate structured JSON. And then this finally, this is our the main mission controller node, which is taking the state and and here we create our message structure. This is where we pass our mission control prompt and the human message that will be the user message. And then we collect the output right here using the structure LLM and then return the message as an AI response, the content json.dumps output model dump. This is uh, this function actually coming from the Pydantic. So basically this will be the one responsible for generating the JSON output. And once that is done, we're gonna go ahead and add our mission controller to the graph using graph builder.add node mission control mission control and uh, last few videos we've been 
compiling them right here just so that we can test this but here we disabled it so that we can get to the start of the show our router finally we reach our router or the router node and uh, as mentioned before this is the route map that this guy is responsible for and here we are just mapping all the strings we set up as intents to our actual agents stock stock agent crm crm agent email blah 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 right so now let's see how our router node will use this routing map so let's go to the main function of the router node right here at the very beginning we simply collect the actual content of the message that it received from the mission controller which is basically the json file just to be exact let me show you this guy right here this is the decision object with intention context and confidence let's go all right so right here we are parsing that content json and putting the data into this mission control output then we just simply extract the intention the context and the confidence those three values from our json object and then it's finally going ahead and returning next agent context and confidence and only tricky thing here is that it's going ahead and reading the route map right here right here and matching that intent and replacing that with this actual agent name stock with stock agent crm with crm agent etc so now our router node will be returning this object instead with the right agent name the context and confidence so once that's done we're going to go ahead add our router node to our graph using graph builder dot add node router router and then we're going to connect mission controller with the router with an edge saying graph builder dot add edge mission control router so now these two are connected after that's done here is our main routing function get next agent it's going to grab the state and from the state it's going to go ahead and pick up the next agent name and return it and with that we're going to go ahead and generate our conditional edge this is where the graph builder dot add conditional edges we will connect our router to the rest of the graph i mean this guy conditional edge and rest of the graph that said now we have a data mapping right here this will map stock agent to stock agent crm agent to crm agent so on and so forth if it is unknown to unknown and if nothing matches it's going to go ahead and end the cycle altogether so with that finally we just keep adding our agents to the graph graph builder add node research agent research agent this is the actual agent function we'll get to that in a few minutes and same way stock agents is added crm agent email agent unknown agent right and all these agents will be connected to an end node so that the data does not go anywhere else just like here everything is end node so that means whatever decision is taken whatever reply is generated it's not going to go anywhere come straight back to the user that said let's go so finally we go ahead and set a starting point for our graph which is mission control and then finally we compile the graph graph builder dot compile create the graph and right here this is the graph but before we launch it let's go look at our test agent structure all right so under the normal circumstances this will be what a an real agent would look like it's going to have an llm it's going to go ahead and grab the context and confidence from the state and then it's going to have a nice little tool where it will actually use that to send us the confidence and the context when we are testing and then finally it will return the entire agent once we instantiate it so that this whole agent we can go ahead and add to our graph but at this point we're not going through all that we're strictly in test mode so we simplified things just for accuracy's sake this is what our uh, agents are going to look like let's say simple research agent so this is the description here and it's going to go ahead and grab the last message from our state which is the ai message which is coming from our router via the conditional edge which is also a json and from that json 
content, we're going to go ahead and collect the intent data. And then we'll parse through that intent data, collect the context and confidence, and put them in a variable. If something wrong happens, we're going to go ahead and launch an error message with another uh, JSON style object, which where the context will say error decoding context, confidence will be 0, 0.0. Otherwise, we simply add this message to our graph array, AI message, saying I am the research agent, confidence level, confidence that we collected from the state, context is context, which is the user message. Simple as that. It's not going to use tools, it's, gonna, it's not going to have an LLM, it will simply parse our state and collect these two variables and it's going to identify itself. Since this is the research agent, it's going to say, I am the research agent. And this way, when we test it, we're going to know exactly where we're sending our data to, what is the confidence level, what is the context. Exactly the same way, simple stock agent follows the exact same structure replies, I am the stock agent, blah, 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 CRM, does the exact same thing, replies this, simple email agent, does exactly the same thing, and if it is unknown, this time, we're going to go ahead and send this custom message. Simply, we're going to say, since if it comes here, that means our user's request is out of scope. So, we're going to say, sorry. I can only help you with CRM queries, stock related questions, sending emails, or researching a topic for you. Unfortunately, your current question is out of scope, confidence, confidence level, context, context, which is the user message once again. So that's what, a, that's what we're going to send from our unknown agent every time somebody fails to comply with our scope and that said now let's go actually we're going to go ahead and run all of these okay this guy is no but this needs to be run this needs to be run this guy and unknown agent now finally we do a mission control very nice and go all the way down to our router and as we know that we have set up all these agents and uh, set mission control as a as the starting point so now let's see what happens when we run this boom there you go this is so far our most complex structure in this channel start mission control router and router is now talking to crm agent email agent research agent stock agent and unknown agent and everybody ending up to an, with an end node. All right, so this is the structure. So let's go test it out. Okay, so first message should be, can you find out more about Langchain? Let's see what it says. And remember, this time we're using GPT 4.5, the latest. Boom, I am the research agent, confidence level 95% context, our question and let's go with the next one how is google doing today see we kept it vague we're not even show i mean we're not even mentioning stock anywhere right so let's go up a little there we go boom i am the stock agent confidence level 95 percent and our question 100 percent accurate now let's go with next question can you can you get me my contact list? Let's go. Has to be CRM. There you go. CRM 95%. Now let's go with this email one. Oh, but we went ahead and made it vague. Please message Michael for me. So let's see what happens to the confidence level. Okay, 0 0.9, 90%. This is an email agent. Perfect. And last but not least, a vague question what is the meaning of life and let's see what we get oh sorry i can only help you with crm query stock etc etc and unfortunately out of scope confidence level 95 context is right there bada bing bada boom so we have just established a fantastic advanced agentic routing framework 
Thanks for watching.